Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I have this fun math manipulative tutorial to share with you. And so let's get into it. For this project you're going to need some wood slices, preferably in different sizes. And you're going to also need some peg dolls. These are the ones that come with the little pots. You're also going to need some popsicle sticks. Here I have 50, but you're actually going to need um, 55. And you're going to need 55 tiny peg dolls. The links to the um, supplies here will be in the description box. You'll need opaque watercolor paints, a paintbrush, some white paint, and some water, of course. And if you prefer to seal your project, you can also get some echo sealant as well. We're going to start by painting both sides of the popsicle sticks and then you're going to do a couple of extra coats and make sure that they dry fully before handling them. And we're going to move on to the next part of, of the project. Here I'm going through the slices and I'm trying to find 10 that are going to be gradually getting smaller. It's not absolutely necessary to have them in various sizes, but I like the way that it looks. Also with these wooden slices, um, there is a smooth side and then there is a rough side. And since I'm gonna be using both sides, I'm gonna need to sand the rough side down. So for that, you'll just need some fine sandpaper. So I'll be sanding basically only 10 since I'm going up to number 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. I go ahead and sand the slices using circular motions. Go ahead and grab your paint and paintbrush and paint one side and dot the other. I'm finished doing the dots and the painted sides of all of them and I'm just gonna leave them here to dry and then I'm going to paint the numbers on the back sides in the white water paint. I recommend using a firm, fine-tipped paintbrush for this part. I've color coordinated the numbers with a specific color. So number one is red, number two is orange, number three is yellow, number four is green, well I should say light green, number five is dark green, number six is a light sky blue, and number seven is a dark blue, Number eight is purple, number nine is pink, and number ten finally is brown, even though this brown kind of looks orangey. So now let's move on to the next part. Grab your paint and brush and start by painting the top heads of the tiny little peg dolls in the same color scheme as you did the wooden slices. So red is one, orange will be two little pig dolls, yellow will be three little pig dolls, and so forth up to 10. In total requiring 55 tiny little pig dolls, or as I like to call them, little pig doll minions. Now let's move on to the larger pig dolls. Grab your doll and look closely at the wood grain until you find a nice circular part that would be the face of the doll. And then go ahead and contour that circle and paint around it. You're going to want to paint it about halfway so that you can still hold the doll without getting um, paint marks or finger, without getting your fingerprints onto the paint. Now some of the paint colors may be a little bit less opaque than others and so you're going to want to go over those a few more times. Once the top half is dry you can handle the head part and paint the bottom half. You could also go ahead and let your children do this part. It would be super fun for them and they would really, really enjoy it. Once dried, go ahead and paint the numerals onto them with the white watercolor paint. Now for the final part of the project, grab your paint and paintbrush and carefully paint around the top of the pots. 
I ended up painting the inside of the pots and I love the way they turned out. These math manipulatives were super easy and complement perfectly the DIY rods that I made in a previous video. There are just so many ways to use them. They are the perfect uh, manipulatives for the early years of learning the four math processes such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.